Hey guys, I'm back uh, with another unboxing and review. I'm pretty, pretty excited about this one, guys. I've been waiting for this girl for a while. I was hoping and sitting on her in my inbox on Amazon.com because I was wanting to see her up here in the stores, but she never did, not in my area. Um, I checked even online. Um, so I finally went ahead and I just ordered her. And uh, she actually came from the UK. So I don't know if they ever, if this, if the last two from this second series ever made it to the US or what happened. But uh, I'm still on the hunt for Poppet because Poppet, of course, anyone who follows the Shopkins shoppy lines uh, knows that Poppet hasn't been around in a while. We've only had, a, I think, a couple editions of her. Um, so it was exciting to see her made over and redone, but uh, that's a whole other video that I'm discussing now. Let's get into her. So uh, she's part of the Party Pop-Ups, which was the second series of the uh, Little Secrets kind of intro girls. And she comes with her own little tiny world and a party mask, like they all do. Uh, she, to me, looks sort of like a something from the Mardi Gras, but it says that she's part of, it says Colette's Masquerade Disco Party. So, interesting. Um, we're gonna go ahead and unbox her. She also has this cool backdrop that they all came with for this series. Um, I'll just, we'll just take a look at her box first. It says you're invited to, and I already read that. Uh, there's some cool balloons on the side here with feathers. Uh, to me, she looks like a peacock. It, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say that she's a peacock, a chocolate peacock. <laughs> so let's go ahead and read her bio here in the back here. It says, it's party time in Shopville. The shoppies are all off to the biggest little party yet, and you are invited inside their magical secret world. Pop in, explore, and find little secrets to adore. And then down here it says you're invited to eat party treats and secret wait to eat party treats and secret sweets at Colette's masquerade disco party. Come and parade with pretty peacocks and shake your tail feathers under the mirror ball as you show off your moves, Colette. So she is. She just admitted that she's peacock theme. So she's peacock theme, but it's supposed to be a disco. It's very interesting. I totally get Mardi Gras out of her, but um, it's whatever. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open her up and we're going to check her out outside of her box and check out what her world looks like. Um, yeah, there's a lot to these guys. You can, And you can see that there's a little invitation in here. Now yeah, let's get her open. Okay, guys. So the first of her accessories that we're going to take a peek at today is going to be um, our actual, our small, um, tiny, is it teeny? Well, teeny tiny, we'll say, so that way we can be right with one of the words. Uh, Colette, version of Colette, so it's actually done pretty well. She is winking, she's wearing her peacock mask, she has her hair, um, so she's done up in all purple, you can see, and her hair is all brown, and then she has the peacock feathering going on in the back, pretty cool. And then, um... She's wearing a short, the short peacock purple dress and the purple shoes. So they do bend at the waist. You have to be very careful with these. I don't know if you guys watched, have been watching my videos. I had a problem with one of them one time. I forced her to sit, and I ended up snapping her in half. So you do have to be a little bit gentle with them. Uh, for the most part, they're a little bit, they're a little bit more durable, durable than the one that I ended up with. Um, so here is the actual locket itself. I'm going to go ahead and, before we open it up, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the um, chain on it. I don't know if you want to call it a chain. Um, necklace? Yeah. Necklace or hanging mechanism on it before we open it up. So there you go. Um, the dark pink with the light pink top part there that goes on it um, is standard color for all of them. And this one, it looks like a peacock feathering. And it's ombre, so it goes from a purplish color down to a 
blue collar, and then there's a heart that says SPK in the middle with a dripping strawberry chocolate, maybe? <laughs> so here's the back of it. Nothing special back there. It just says moose. And then we also have a heart uh, with a locket on it type thing for the handle. That's pink. And then our hinge is down the bottom here. This is going to open up like a just like a locket. So it's going to be a little place for our little, our teeny tiny shoppy to play. So we'll start off by showing the top here. We have a little disco ball. It does have a little mechanism that uh, you can spin it. It's very tiny, but um, it is spinnable. I can get that to focus while I show you. It does spin. And on top of the metallic silver disco ball, you have we have a metallic. I don't know what it is, but it's it's something metallic blue, and then light blue curtains all around the side. We have a peacock feather background with holographic background behind the background. If you guys can see that, it's sparkly. And we have pink detail work here. It looks like we have cupcakes on a table and a cake and some candies. And then you move down and then there's a little bit of a masquerade there. Or a masquerade. A little bit of a mask there. Kind of like the mask that she wears. Down to the bottom here we have the bottom of the stage, I guess. Or uh, whatever it is. It looks like there might be a tablecloth draped over it. You can see... A few masks and some candies on it. And then we have a chocolate flooring here, guys. You see that? It reminds me of, um... I don't know. But it's it's like a metallic... Anyhow, it's just chocolate with hearts. So, there is a spot in here where you can put your girl in. So, I don't know what she actually is doing down here. But there is a place for her to go. And she can go over here. And spin around. And it moves all the way over to the other side. Where she can go and spin around. So I don't know if she's serving or dancing or what she's doing. If this is a stage. Maybe this is a stage. But she will um, fold up inside. Just like all of our other shoppies. You can take her with you and have a little play set. So the next accessory we have is our trusty stand. It does have the... Um, the lock on it, so it's a special stand for this line. Here is our, here are our masquerade glasses. They are done in uh, three different types of purples. We have a dark purple, a light purple, and then we have that metallic-y purple paint on the front. So pretty cool. Okay. Um, and then we have an invitation that says from Colette to you and then on the inside it has got a picture of her in her mask and then there's a code in there for the app let's go ahead and take a look at our girl now oh she's so beautiful guys I'm so excited for her they outdid themselves one more time so I get her on her stand here so we're going to go to review her here without her glasses on, and then we'll put them on in the end and show you what she looks like. Uh, starting with her hair. She has two ponytails. They're not just plain ponytails. Now, her, the base of her hair is this chocolate brown, so she's a brunette. She has these cool peacock feather type um, hair, uh, hair bands that are purple with a metallic purpley... I don't, yeah, yeah, metallic purple or purpley blue with hearts in the middle of it. So that's pretty cool, I think. And then after with her brunette hair, it stops right about here. And you're going to see that light lavender purple. And then more like a purpley blue. And then this is more of a lighter purple in the bottom. So you have three different layers of color. Uh, this was very well secure in the box. It took a little bit of... Uh, elbow grease to get it off, but it came off and it, and they look fine. So uh, she also has eyebrows that match the same color as her hair, um, the base part of her hair. So we have brown eyebrows. We have pink eyeshadow, but if you look closer, and I don't know if this is going to even show off on camera, 
Let's see if I can get it to show off. It has a lighter pink, and then it goes to, like, more of a darker pinkish purple. Uh, at the ends, it kind of has, like, a peacock-looking look, uh, design on the feather. Her eyes are, like, this really deep orange color. Really pretty. And then she has a metallic blue lipstick. And you can see her teeth. She has a mediocre um, complexion. Not quite light, not quite dark. Moving down to her top, her outfit's her outfit's so exciting. I don't really know where to start. She has a molded on top, which is um, normal for all shoppies. There's a few exceptions that don't have molded on tops, but for the most part, so um, it's I guess more uh, not a halter top. What is the one that, that there's an actual name for it? But anyhow, uh, she ha she has a sleeveless top. I guess it is kind of a halter top with a rim around it. You can see a drippy chocolate heart in the center and then you have that medium colored purple in the center with peacock feathers that kind of poke out so it's got a little bit of texture here and then she has like this ruffle that goes all around the top of her like a collar ruffle that is painted in that metallic uh, blue I guess almost purple so then we're moving down to her skirt, which has a couple of layers, and it does some cool things here. So let's uh, try to I'll try to describe it as much as I can. Um, so it has, the skirt itself has a little bit of chocolate in it. You can see the brown right here. And then it's a ribbony material that has the medium purple, and then you have blue, and then you have red. Or I see like a dark pink hearts in the middle of those designs that go all the way around and then on top of that we have some tool and the tool is the same type of design so it's a purple with uh, blue and then the dark pink hearts on top of it and then it has an like a little elastics that attach to the fabric that are also on her arms that you can make her her arms lift up and i'll show you this pose in a second here I'm not entirely sure how it's supposed to go, but when she lifts her arms up, it's supposed to look like the peacock, the peacock uh, dress lifts up and uh, she has the feathers. So I don't know if it's supposed to completely lift up or just a little bit, but either way, it's an actual, and it's really, really a gorgeous design. Um, and then moving down from that, she has a darker purple leggings. Uh, tights I want to say that are molded on and then she has really cool shoes let's see if I can get her stand off so I can show you the shoes here her shoes are a little bit plainer I guess than the rest of her but they work so we have that medium colored purple and then the metallic -y blue purple that uh, that's on the feathers that go all the way up the side of both so um, that's pretty awesome and of course as you were seeing she has extra articulation on her elbows that was kind of something that was kind of at this point seems to be exclusive to this line so uh, her head moves back and forth her shoulders move up, up and down and back and forth like normal and then her elbows move and then her legs move so you can sit her and here she is with her mask on. I think she looks pretty good. It fits her fine. Like you can shake her around and it stays on. So that's awesome. That's an awesome thing. Then if you have the space in the proper environment, you can actually store her in this pop-up cardboard um, display box that they come with, that she comes with. And it's actually pretty awesome. You get the balloons and the chocolates and the strawberries dipped in chocolate. You have cupcakes and a masquerade decor and then in the background here you got more you got curtains with more balloons and then you can see more peacock designs and more chocolate it's she's just perfect she is just perfect and I'm really excited to add my her to my collection someday I think I'm gonna do a video just showing all of the uh, little secret girls together if I can ever get my hands on Poppet, <laughs> I'll be able to feel more complete 
But uh, this is all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.